What is going on everyone and welcome back to another episode of Gear Club. You are with me here, Chris. Ah damn, I'm almost to the goal. Damn it. Alright, anyway, I just got that, so what the hell? Cool. Alright, in today's video we are gonna do a B2 class and previously I did show you on my garage what I had on the B2 which is the uh which is the Corvette Stingray and uh, we are going to use that car speaking of Corvette we do have the Z06 to run in the flash races and uh, so I'm going to run this and we're going to bring the video of the next one All right so I finished up the um, okay daily rewards one then so I finished up the daily the daily quests and Let's just go and complete what we are here for. But before that, let's collect participation point. Very cool. Let's go for the B2. Where's the B2? B2, 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 B2. I know the B2 is somewhere above, but I'm just looking down through. There you go. I can see one B2 over there. Um, look at it. I have not started any B2. I was purely concentrating on B1 to finish. So we are here in B2. There you go. Hidden Valley. Let's tap that and we are going to use the Comet Stingray. This is the only B2 that I have at the moment. Um, what I'm trying to do is upgrade it to its fullest. Of course, this car is pretty tough to control in the rally mode. So you really got to ensure that you have the proper tire, have the proper adjustment spring or else you're going to get hyper screwed in the rally mode. So uh, on the gravel, is supposed to be pretty awesome in controlling it. Right there you go. Let's go for it. One thing about this, I love the the, the engine breath. Fossey. Oh, shit, how can I actually lose the control? Damn. Right. So we're coming to the very narrow corner. Next lap. Whoa! We really left our opponents behind. That was the part earlier on that I got too close with the wall. Right. So always remember whenever you finish those races, always watch the video. So you can earn double points. So you know what doubles all mean by experience points. Your cash will be double. So why not? That should be easily increased towards your your internal bank account. Um, like likewise, I always ensure that I watch the double videos. So my in-game account will actually increase much faster rather than just going by the default original um, winning. Right. I think I need to change the car scheme color. I'm gonna ram it all over. There you go. At the moment, I left my engine uh, stock. So, what I've done is that I just upgraded those tires to make sure that it has better handling at the moment. So, if there's any tough. Uh, 
corners in the beginning stage I would be able to tackle it at its best So far clean left. Come on, did I actually hit that? Cash that has been doubled and the experience points being doubled. I'll do more for it. Let's go on the next race since our car still can maintain for the next race. This is what um, it's important whenever you race, you gotta ensure that you have no collisions. So every collision that you make towards the barrier or your opponent will actually cause you to uh, influence towards the car. So it's really, really impactful you got to really ensure that you have the proper control. Um, sometimes when you race during the night, <coughs> that's the biggest effect. The culprit, the night, uh, night mode. Damn, I just love this car. Got a ram all over. Right, you can see the BMW is on its wing. I'm going to stay on the left side, and to the right, over here, Ooh. there you go, that was purely my mistake so I gotta ensure that I have that, okay. come on the right, come on, really? I just wish I could play this game with a steering wheel. There will be a serious awesome control to handle. Oh, I'm speeding right now. That is what I mean. The moment you turn a little bit, as soon as it picks its traction, after you lose traction, your car will just go haywire. Alright. So I'm not really sure if I should be continuing this car in the next race because I may pressure it. But looking at the time that we make, we can try. We can try. So. Let's just see how this car goes in the beginning of races with its um, performance being extremely low when it's need to be repaired. So we're going to see how we go. Alright, so it's going to be a gravel. I did spoke about this in the beginning. And now we keep. So we're going to see how this car goes in the gravel. Of course, I did not install any rally parts to this car as yet
There you go. First handling. There it is. I could actually drift that. <laughs> Oh shit, that was close. Oh, oh, oh. Trying not to hit anything. Nice. I almost lost control in that. Alright, unfortunately this car has come to the end of its condition whereby it has of course time to put this car into its maintenance and looks like we have completed the first round. Whoop. Right, the rotation. <laughs> We have completed the first round of its challenge and of course the next one we shall bring more B1 races. Probably before that I may upgrade uh, its body kit, this car, this Corvette body kit and we shall see what's in store for this car. But don't worry, we will be going through it together. Uh, of course I got quite a number of gold to be used. Um, let me just use one of my... Oh, I can't. Okay. There you go. So while this car is being repaired, we shall wrap this video for now. Alright guys, so with that, I'm going to wrap up this video right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it the most. If you are new, hit the subscribe button. Like the video down below. Leave your comments as usual. And I will get back to you. So with that, I'm Chris and this is Gear Club. And I'm out guys. Peace.